the very first company I'd probably set up will be called Rice and Others or something like that. Okay. Basically, it'll be an online grocery of just your staples of rice and grains. Rice, bread, flour, things like that. Okay, okay? okay. Because no matter what background a person, a Filipino has, he or she would probably want rice and or bread. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. and you can't go out, and because of what how the ECQ um, and how COVID is now, our behaviors most likely will change after the quarantine is lifted, right? People will still be careful about yeah, groceries and things sure. like that. And compared to, let's say, meats or vegetables, some people are picky, but right? when they shop, yeah. they want to see the fruit, how does it look, how big it is. But if you sell them a sack of rice, it's just a yeah, sack rice. of rice. Yeah. They're not particular. So I'd probably do that. Um, Is it if e I had the funds. Yeah. Uh, just online. make it purely uh, make it purely e-commerce. Okay. Or you can have an e-commerce where they buy and then deliver. Okay. Or you can do a subscription model. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Parang sa Shark Tank, right? ano po na, na pili, nakita yun eh. Yeah. yeah, so subscription, which is also my office. Oh, nga, no? You just you just um, sign up. Somebody do it. I can't do it. Okay. If you want to partner, I'm willing to be a partner. Okay, nice. But um, so someone just installs their credit card or their bank account. So every month, you let's say you know you you need um, ten kilos of rice. Yeah, For example, yeah. your family needs yeah. ten kilos of rice. You don't think about it. Every month they charge you the same amount, and yeah, then yeah. on this day, same, we'll every day, every, same day, every month, they deliver the ten kilos of rice. So I do that. Ngayon talaga, ano eh, recruitment pa rin talaga. Yun talaga. Oo, oh, yun talaga. Kasi ano eh, especially in this time, ang daming walang trabaho dito yeah. sa Philippines. Yeah. And yeah. then, ang daming nakarealize na ang hirap pala talaga ng walang trabaho. Alam That's true. Yun, uh -huh. Definitely, madaming mga naghihintay sa amin pagbalik. Okay. And then sa abroad din, madaming companies ang nag-shutdown. Okay. So, after a year, mag-open sila, maghahanap sila ng workforce. Tama, so, tama. Ang, ang parang ano siya, align. Yeah, Alive, yeah. di ba? Mag-meet talaga sila mga walang trabaho dito at yung mga companies doon. So for me, primary pa rin. Primary okay. Pa rin. Nagpapahinga lang. Nagpapahinga lang. Nagpapahinga lang, yeah. Ang galing, ang galing. For the meantime, ngayon, di ba? Um, ang ginagawa ko kasi ngayon is like, nag-aral na rin ako mag-training. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, that's what you can do at home. Yeah. So ang isa sa nakita ko is, this is the perfect time for you to share what you know to okay. other people. Okay. Especially okay. Yung madali mo lang namang maturo by online and everything. Kasi Tama. ang dami ang daming pa rin opportunities na available ngayon. Yeah. Lockdown tayo, di ba? Tama, so, tama. To know that you know na yung what you know will give value to other people. Then share it. Share tama, it. tama. Your passion, your mission, and profit. Magiging negosyo siya eventually. Ang galing. I think one of the best thing that you can start right now is to build your e-commerce site. Okay. Or to sell your services online talaga. Okay. So, but, but do not expect that clients will be pouring in. So, yeah, parang okay. ang, ang time na ito talaga is perfect for you to plant the seed. If you can get money after three weeks, that's fine. Pero okay. mas okay po kasi na ang vision natin is, okay, what value can I give to my clients? How can I sell it? And that's, I think that's where I'm going to start. If wala okay. pa rin akong online jobs, hanapin ko kung ano yung forte ko because definitely there's a market na perfect para dun sa skills ko. Ang galing, ang galing. So, I, I like that answer, right? But mostly talagang means? online ka. <laughs> diba? Yes. Talagang online ka talaga pupunta. No? I think ganun talaga yung moms, eh, diba? They would choose their family and their kid uh, more than anything else or career. If, if, diba? if you'll be happy with that, then mas maganda. Um... Nahita ko kasi ang marami kong kaibigan na maliliit na nag ano maliliit na negosyante rin. Alam mo yan yung mga business owners din na nagstruggle talaga paano nila dadalhin ang team nila. Okay. Paano alam mo yon paano sila mag paano nila i-maximize yung ganitong un uncertainties? Uh Oo. -oh. Diba? Then paano mo ulit itatayo ang sarili mo after the crisis? Okay. Okay. Alam mo yon. So Ang nakita ko, since sa industriya ko, dahil yun yung marami akong network, Nakinala, yeah. nakita ko talaga, yeah, mad, mad, majority sa kanila talaga ay nag-freeze. Walang nagawa, yeah. walang ginagawa, um, yeah. wasak ang team, ganyan, alam mo yun. 
So, ang nakita ko talaga, pinag-uusapan namin ng, ng business partner ko at, at uh, ni Marinel, di ba? Yeah. Na alam mo, simulan natin sa industriya natin. Kailangan, kasi kakaiba so, yung mga team. training for them? Ganon, yeah, or parang ganon. Yeah, yung, so, found, yung alam mo yung foundation ng foundation ng ano, yung foundation ng ng negosyo talaga. So parang Kasi how to set up, brother, how, so, how to set up yan, your diba? business, parang, right? Parang ganun. Paano mo i-set up ng tama yung negosyo mo? Parang ganun. Tinuturuan sila maano magsimula ng tama. Oh. Parang ganun yung gusto mong simulan. Yeah, the, yung simulan foundation ng business. Ng business. Okay. Wow. What I have right now is something that people may need. So I, I start sharing my knowledge pa rin. So okay. doon pa rin ako mag, mag-umpisa. Kasi this is something that that I know na. You know? Okay. So, so doon pa rin ako mag-start. Kung, okay. kung naman ako, magaling ako sa, let's say, I'm, I'm good in uh, programming, like creating system, doon okay. ako mag-start. Kasi, in that one, wala kang investment. Tama, Let's, tama. Especially sa mga taong wala naman pang pang-invest sa business. Tama yun. Have something na you can do. Kaya nga merong mga pagtuturo na start a business from zero. Doon din okay. naman ako nag-start. Tama, eh. tama. Kung baga, laway lang ang puhunan, utak lang ang puhunan. Alam mo yun? So, I started with that talaga. And I will always start from there. Kahit nasan ako. Uh, kasi hindi yun mawawala sa iyo. Tama, ano tama. Ba, sina Donald Trump, Robert Kiyosaki, saan man sila pumunta, dali mo sila sa 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 isla, bigyan mo ng internet at something. Oh, may magagawa. Ihalap mo sa tao. Wala, ano yun eh, yung parang ano mo, yung financial blueprint mo, or kung ito, if you're a hundred thousand peso person at nawalan na bankrupt ka, it's same question as you, di ba? Naba- nawala ka ng pera. Start from zero ka reset, babalik at babalik ka tama, dun. Tama, tama, tama. Kasi nandito na siya. Yung galing, skills, galing. lahat, nasa'yo. It's start from you always. Ang galing. Very, very high, high wisdom yung sagot na yun. Bakit networking yung gusto kong gawin pa rin? It's because for 22 years, I've seen it, I've felt it. Number one, ang networking po, maraming tao akala nila scam. When they heard about networking, hindi yan para sa kanila, ang yeah, baba yeah. ng tingin nila. Guys, listen, ang networking, if you know Amway, has been there for almost 70 years already and yeah. they're very successful. Sa Pilipinas, you know, ang daming tao nakakotse ng Ferrari, ng Lamborghini and everything, networker, karamihan may-ari niyan. Yeah. Donald Trump, one time, sinabi ni Oprah sa, sa interview sa kanya, kung hindi ka na, wala ka sa real estate today, kung wa, di ba marami siyang hotels, yeah. you know, nasa real estate business siya, you know, he owns binibiling Pilip, uh, Miss Universe during the time, WW, yeah. sarang billionaire niya. So sabi ni Oprah sa kanya, if you're not in the real estate today, saan ka dapat? Ang sagot niya, probably I will be a networker. Yeah. Alam mo, sabi ng mga audience, boo! Alam mo, sabi ni Donald Trump, that's the reason why you are down there and I am up here. So, this guy is so brilliant. I'm not pro or anti-Donald yeah, Trump. Yeah. Pero hello, in result naman, talagang mayaman talaga yung tao. Tama. And sabi sa sarili ko, how come this brilliant guy appreciate networking? And sino ako para hindi ko ma-appreciate ang networking? Although sa Philippines, I understand people who do not appreciate networking. It's because sa news, marami mga investment scam yeah. na ang tinutukoy nila, networking din yun. Okay, okay. Guys, listen. Ang networking, why I appreciate it is because, for example, I sell this ball pen kay DJ, kumita ko. When I sell this to you, bumili ka, kumita ko. When I sell this to my friend, bumili sila, kumita ko. That's it. Pag napagod ako magbenta, wala akong kita. Tama. Networking, when I sell this to DJ, he sell that to you, he sell it to your friends, hindi ko nakilala yung binenta ng pailalim. Nagkaroon ako ng points, hindi ko na sila kilala, kumikita pa rin ako. You know, nung naintindihan ko yung, yung system yeah. ng networking, parang sino ko para humindi sa isang Ama. sistema na wala na akong ginagawa, pero dahil ako nag-create ng grupo na to, kumikita pa rin ako, parang sino, di ba? Yeah. Tama, tama. What's important lang is yung product kailangan maganda kasi sa isang negosyo, kung pangit ang produkto mo, wala tayong pag-uusapang negosyo, period. Tama. 